happiness and he talks about even though he believes it's an innate part of humanity is that we are gentle and kind um, that we do need to learn and practice what values are and what good living is and he says that you know traditionally people learn these things from religion but in the, the modern times religion has lost its Unfortunately, I'm not sure if I believe that we're innately good and kind and gentle. I'd like to believe that. I believe we have the capacity for that. But I also think that we're very deeply rooted in our animal biological background. I mean, you can look at children and very early they start to push, they start to take from one another. They don't they don't share and until we teach them how to fight. That doesn't happen. Kids know how to be aggressive on their own. However, I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing. What that does is simply highlight the fact that as human animals, our gift with these big brains is not that we can figure out how to make flamethrowers and nuclear bombs. Our big gift with these brains is that we can learn how to sidestep this natural cycle of aggression. We can learn, we can train our brains, we can see logically that we don't have to make that choice. And so then we can step into this higher sense of joy, happiness, beyond mere pleasure that, it, it, that is one of contentment, inner peace, um, and being a part of the cosmic flow of love. Not just a part of the natural cycles of, of you know, supply and demand and, you know, who has food, who has dominance, who is stronger and, you know, small things, being enough food for this, dies off for this, and yada, yada, yada. So then, how does the modern person learn how to be a good person? That's a great question. If you don't have religion, and especially when you've almost been so frustrated by the institutions of religion that you throw it out, what I've said, you you throw the baby out with the bathwater. I mean, you've got this this inner capacity for love and goodness and, and warmth and, and compassion, your inner baby, and yet it ends up being thrown out with the tainted bathwater of spirituality and, and religion. And I think that's the next, the cusp that, or the challenge of the current era is how do we discern? How do we get that back? Oh, look at that. Da -da. Enjoy the color. 